Richard Southern joins us once again. We're chatting about some of the day's more interesting stories. Now, Richard, it's not quite rocket science, but researchers have found that aerospace engineers and brain surgeons aren't necessarily any brighter than the rest of us. No, oh, makes us feel pretty good, doesn't it, Erica? Yeah. You Maybe. You're pretty smart, Erica. You could be a brain surgeon. <laughs> as I think. smart as a neurosurgeon? I don't know. Yeah. Or a rocket scientist. Listen, you know you ask someone that question, a tough question, and you say, hey, I'm not a brain surgeon or a rocket scientist. But research has examined 329 actual aerospace engineers and neurosurgeons, and they found yeah, they're not necessarily any brighter than the general population. The, the findings did reveal, though, that neurosurgeons, the brain surgeons, are a bit quicker when it comes to problem solving, but actually a little bit slower on memory recall when it comes to the general population. Basically, what the research found was that everyone has a wide range of skills. Some people are better at some things, others better at other things. But those rocket scientists and brain surgeons, they're not exactly any smarter than you or I. Hmm. So I'm thinking I maybe I'll take my, uh, I'll take try my hand at brain surgery. Eric, if you want me to take a look at your noggin, I'll take a gander at I it. I think I'm good, Richard. Yeah, I think I'm good. You sure? Uh, yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah, that's fine. Right. I'll, I'll t take Let a pass know. on that. Okay. Uh, a new know. study out of Britain is highlighting the most nostalgia inducing aromas. You know, some smells just bring you back, right? Absolutely, yeah, definitely. Definitely like food smells, things that, um, you know, I ate as a child. That's what it is for you, food? Yeah. Topping the survey was actually fresh cut grass for most people, believe mm -hmm. it or not. Uh, there's your meals number two. Crayons bring people back. I can see yes, that. Yes, definitely. Uh, Kindergarten Roses, memories, candy. yep. Hundred percent kindergarten and Play-Doh was on the list. That really yes. does it for me, Erica. Yeah, certainly. The smell of the school. Perfume. Okay. Do you know that's? I guess certain schools have a certain smell. I bet if you smelled your elementary school. The gym, know, I think. Smell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a very good smeller. <laughs> Seventy-six percent of people, though, believe certain aromas invoke fond memory. Sixty-one percent say encountering smells uh, makes their their mood uh, better. So we like uh, we like smells here. Seems like it connects to a different part of the brain. A smell seems to induce memories more than any other sense. Okay. Yeah, and it really brings you right back there for sure. Yeah. And finally, one man has nabbed a new world record becoming the fastest person to run 10 meters while pushing a balloon with their face. These records, I'll tell you. <laughs> this guy, he he ain't no rocket scientist, I don't think, Erica, but this looks pretty fun. Uh, this is David Rush breaking the Guinness World Record for keeping this balloon on his face for 10 meters. That's 32 feet. He right. did this in 4.9 seconds. Take a look at him doing this, Erica. Here he goes. It's hard. It's, been, it's actually it's really hard. To do. Oh, there you go. There you go. Gotta make sure there's no wind, right? It's easy. It's harder than it looks, says this mm. uh, character. Oh. But there's a there's a Guinness <laughs> World Record. I think we could all take a stab at here. Yeah, I think so. One. We could try it one day, Richard. Maybe in the summertime or something. All right. Thank you. We'll see you again tomorrow. Thanks, Erica. See you. <laughs>